CBT Naruto. EA Sports and the PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live second-round coverage of the Mid-Season Classic. Always a pleasure to be along the coast of Maine, Lighthouse Point to be exact. Rich Lerner alongside Frank Nabilo for EA Sports. Frank, this is sure to be another exciting day of golf out there. What are the challenges facing our players today? The length of the golf course for a start, Rich, this golf course just under 7,700 yards. It's one of the longest ones you'll play. And of course the cliffs, that's why it's called this, they certainly are in play. There is one double green out there, that's the 10th and the 13th hole, they share the same green. Lots of great design features and you've got it on a prime day in great condition. So enjoy the round and make sure you feast on the vistas as well. That was just a beautiful drive. He hit it solid and right in the middle. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is your green light special. This is taken off on a weird line. And it's going to be in the rough, it looks like. That's an outstanding shot right there, and it sets up a really good look at birdie. Locked in on the read and the speed. A great stop. Now at the second here at Lighthouse Point, Frank, this is some tough par three. If you want to try and uh, really break the hole down and, and be a purist here, Rich, you'd like to hit a little cut into this green, something that moves away from the water and the cliff back towards that bunker. That would be the perfect shot to hit. But such a difficult par three, anything on the green would be good here. This one looks right on point. Really in control of this hole. Birdie yesterday and another opportunity on the way. Frank going for another birdie here. Just to get on a real roll. Has it for another birdie. Two holes, two birdies. Rich Lerner alongside Frank Navalo back with you at the third hole here at the Cliffs. And this is a hole that offers up a chance to put a red number on the board, Frank. It certainly does. A good drive finding this very narrow field. Oh, he's winding this one up. Does he have the power? To... It's here pitch on me. Come on now. Come on. No, Paul. Shut the human torch, superhero, start the floor. Marvel and also my girl B. Oh, Larson has got the marble. She flares on too. The power of the cosmos. Was it a good drive here at the third? Down there, a good ways and in the fairway.
Frank, how did he do there? Well, he's inside 30 feet, but uh, 27 feet, that's not exactly what you'd call close. Lengthy putt here of 27 feet. Well, you could see he thought he had that. It looked in the whole way until the end. Very well done. Almost made it. Yeah, there'll be no stress for the next one. This hole's been good to him. Birdie yesterday, trying for another one today. Nice, solid start to the round. Tita Green looks to be in command. Yeah, it's surprising. I thought he might have been a little shaky out of the gate, but uh, certainly proved me wrong. He's loading up on it. Look at the coil there. <laughs> Golf ball. Shot the human torch and my girl, we lost his Captain Marvel too. Another straight one. Plans on also. Well, got the power of the cosmos. Well, this is going to be an interesting day. The wind is howling, or as they would say in Scotland, just a wee breeze. This is a good looking shot. Good chance now for a birdie. That was an outstanding play. Well, it's almost a guarantee there after that shot. I'll tell you, he's setting himself up for a good weekend. A former college number one makes another birdie. Now at the fifth hole, it's a par four. Frank, what are we in store for? Well, it's very easy to get lulled into a false sense of security here, Rich. No fairway bunkers, just sort of think you would blaze away. But really, you've got to find the fairway here. Very small green and well protected by that bunker. Short right up the string. So if you miss the fairway... Oh, come on now! Very, very Let me on. Golf ball, shot the human torch. And also, my girl, we lost Captain Marvel. Yes, given this lane is on two. Treat the power of the cosmos. Release through the ball. And this shot is on the fairway, over 300 yards. All right, Eagle. That was close, though. stick from that man. <laughs> this for Birdie. Just an amazing display. The records continue to fall. Now at the sixth hole, so par three, just under 200 yards. Where's the challenge here, Frank? Well, you've got to love that bunker on the left side, Rich, especially because it's shaped like a letter L. Got to fly that. Uh, green's not too deep. So really, the challenge is trying to flight that ball in amongst the breeze should it kick up. What a great shot. Right next to the hole, it's about five feet. Just needs to keep it steady here over the putt. Continues to amaze yet another birdie, and what a day it's been. Now to the seventh hole here at Lighthouse Point. Frank, we all love the shorter par fours. 
There's so many decisions to be made here at seven. Uh, if you look at the scorecard, it's not very long, but when you start to flash your driver down that right side, you'll notice that fairway gets very narrow. So the decision is really that's the prudent play or not. Uh, from there, it's just a short iron in, and you should be looking at birdie. Frank, no reason here to think we're going to see anything other than another good shot. Yeah, in a great flow, and uh, golf like this looks easy. Good swing, good shot yet again. Just a case of a hole suiting the player's eye. Made the birdie yesterday. And he has a good chance to make another one today. Birdie try again here today. Had a nice birdie on this hole yesterday. Everybody loves him. Birdie on the car. Getting set at the eighth hole, it's a par three of 165 yards. Break it down for us, partner. This gets really narrow in the middle of this green, Rich. That's sort of the biggest problem. Matter of fact, only had 12 yards from that left side to the right in the middle. Um, and the green itself actually is three times that in length, 36 yards. So straightness is the key here. Beautiful display of ball striking today, really in control. And that's another GIR, green in regulation. Really? This is an awkward length. Well, that would have been a bonus had it gone in, but still, reasonable chance for par here. Yeah, there's no damage. You're not going to birdie every hole. Considering the lead that he has on the rest of the field, a par is all you need. Now to the par five ninth. Frank, what are we looking at here? Well, for the longer hitters, it's actually a chance to reach a par five and two. 300 yards is where that fairway starts to bend more to the left. So if you do the math, it's going to give you roughly 250 yards to the middle, to the middle to the front left of that green. That's the easy way to play. Come on ball. now. Make a mistake off the tee and you might find Man. this is a uh, more Golf ball. free shot. Shot the human torch and Brie Larson has got the marble. He flames on also with the power of the cosmos. Outstanding tee shot. Yeah, ball sitting up. You don't have to worry about the wind or anything there. You just take a full-blooded cut at the second shot from here. That is how it's done. You yeah, take a gross of those. That is a lesson in itself. And now a chance for Eagle. Getting set now over the putt. Good putt. Now on the 10th hole here at the Cliffs at Lighthouse Point as we begin our trek homeward here at this magnificent golf course. This one puts a little fear into you, Frank. I'm looking at a par four and it's almost 600 yards. Help. Help, you're gonna need it, that's for sure. And one of the things they've done to help you is a, a big elevated tee, so that'll at least chew some of the yardage off. Uh, hopefully the prevailing breeze is also at your back, which might shorten that number up. Pretty generous. 400 yards. Try and take Let's those get it. Bunkers Let's out go. Of play with the big Impressive. Gassy club. I'm going to go and, realize uh, the Catherine Morris. You're going to realize there's two greens here, Rich. 10 shares the same green as 13. Well, this one should be safely on deck here. And that's how you play the game, right there. 
Just five feet left. Mark that as a birdie on the card. Now we go to the 11th hole, and this is a par 5, but it's actually shorter than the par 4 10th. This one comes in at 530 yards, and, and more evidence of the kind of creativity by the award-winning design team of Patel and Duncan. Well, that's right. Patel really is, is known to be the shaper. He's the one that makes all those interesting shapes of the bunkers. For example, here, nipping it in the fairway, making driver almost too much club or very, very risky, plus the front bunker there. Now, this is a great par five. The reason why, it's reachable, it's tempting, but you don't know what you're going to finish up shooting on it. Now the second shot to the par five. Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. Early part of this second nine, a good approach shot. Now, pretty good chance for birdie. Standing over this putt, concentrating on the reed. Came to the putt, excited to make birdie. Now, settle for par. Yeah, little change in the uh, attitude right now. When you've let one go, you've got to really knuckle down there and make sure you don't drop a shot. It's important that this one goes in. And he has it. A good putt redeems all. 12th hole now, and Frank, the long hitters could have an advantage here. If they want to take a very dangerous line over that left side, uh, this is really where the shot maker has the advantage, that hole bending completely to the left. You'd like to hit a draw there, so use those bunkers down the, uh, the through side of the fairway and then just sort of shape that ball towards the green. Interesting shape green, really three different sections to this, and of course, three bunkers, each protecting a different portion. They'll be happy with that in the fairway. Now a good chance to attack this hole. Set for his next shot from a good position in the fairway. Really has not been bothered all day long by these strong winds. Good play so far. Here's to be what they call a commercial play. Very solid. Really good distance control there, playing well to his strengths. He has this putt for birdie. Ah, oh, you always like that. Count it as a birdie. Now to the 13th hole, and Frank, this could make you quake in your soft spikes. 702 yards, par, par five, it might should be a par six or a seven. Well, I think a few people will probably will make six or seven here. You're right, this is a rarity in golf, 700 yards. Come on so now. Forget about any thought of getting close to this golf ball. Shot the hammer torch. And I the got the losses, got the marshals, so it's not too. Waste. <laughs> the the cards, 98 <laughs> yards, smack back oh, in the middle of that, uh, I doubt you can get past oh, those, but you need a good drive, really, to try and leave yourself a, a short third shot. 
Alright, let's keep it moving. Well, he's going to have to hit the same club a lot harder or just hit another one. Superb shot. Well, that's, uh, that's as good as it's going to get. There's going to be no worries about making that one. He really likes this hole. Made birdie yesterday. Can he do it again today? Continues to roll it very well all day long. Now at the par 3 14th, over another body of water, Frank, you could make some big numbers on this golf course. I would think if you walk out of here today, Having shot under par, you have to be really happy. Certainly is big boy golf playing around uh, the cliffs at Lighthouse Point, Rich. And this is another example here at this beefy par three, 240 yards. Uh, you can see Lake Zimmer protects the front of this green and to the right. That's obviously where they get all their irrigation water from. But uh, there's enough green left of the flag here. It's really what you're going to be looking at, that front left section. He's made it. Par 3 14th, headed over Lake Zimmer. Old man Zimmer was a legend in these parts here in Maine at Lighthouse Point. Uh, all you want here, Frank, at 240 yards. Yeah. Always makes the hole easier, playing it from the fairway. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. This one looks like it's headed right for the middle of the dance floor, Frank. Rather nice shot, I would say. No problems there. A really good approach shot. And now, good look at birdie. Really not much to this. The only issue would be a lack of concentration or focus. Tell you, he's setting himself up for a good weekend. A former college number one makes another birdie. Final par three on the back side. It's the 16th, 241 yards. Time to make a move as we are in the finishing stretch here. When you give the scorecard a cursory look, you might think 240 something yards is a difficult hole, but this plays quite a bit downhill. So it plays more around the 200 yard mark. A fairly generous green uh, protected by the bunker. Wow, Frank, he is dialed in. Yeah, that was just some shot on that. Easy birdie. This for another birdie on this hole on the week. Just an amazing display. The records continue to fall. 17th hole is another par five, 613 yards. Frank, how do you play it? Well, only the longest hitters can get here in two. It's two big hits, that's for sure. Uh, S-shaped fairway, so if you can't reach the par five and two, you can still plot your way down there for a nice little pitch, and uh, really great opportunity to get one back off the scorecard. I've seen some long tee shots, but it's the advantage to tee that ball up, get it up there quickly, 
get the wind behind you. It's amazing how far you can hit it. Nice position, short grass, second shot. That's a quality shot. A 16 feet or so away. Very makeable. It's that sneaky distance. How does that not go in? Not a gimme, but well within his range. So the dominant performance continues. Yeah, we're watching two tournaments right now, the one at the top and the rest. We've made it at last to the 18th partner. What a finishing hole. It is. It's a tee shot you have to respect. Uh, that fairway goes on that uh, sort of 60 degree angle towards the left. So you have to know how far you fly the ball. And of course, you can't afford to miss it, your tee shot. But a good tee shot. Let's talk a bit positive here. Good tee shot in the middle of fairway. It's just going to leave you a short iron. And an excellent chance to uh, finish with another birdie. He just blasted that one down the fairway. Out there about 325 yards. This looks to be at least an extra club, maybe two clubs going way up that hill to the green. terrible but not his best An outside chance really for uh, for birdie but um, really it was a, a rather poor approach shot it's a good looking putt right here you might like it oh damn it! let's get it let's go that's how I get it done. Perfect execution by me. Exactly. Second round is complete. I still made it. Let's go. Put together, and it shows on the scorecard. And after two rounds, you really start to see uh, not only who's playing well, but who's consistent. All right, CBT Naruto. Over and out. And also today is February 14, 2020. Joyce Happy Valentine's Day. And it's amazing, pretty fresh. Movie's coming out. Side the Hedgehog movie came out today. That's amazing, sounded pretty fresh. It's perfect. That's amazing, it's sounding pretty fresh. You know, we all love Sonic so fast. Gotta go fast! Sonic, gotta go faster! Sonic, Sonic, Gex, and all that. It's, it's perfect. So, yeah, it's definitely shout out to that. And of course, Sonic, all his friends too. Sonic and Tails and all them. And this this, this is like, this looks like Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, everything. Shadow, everybody. This looks like a solo Sonic movie, but. It's still going to be perfect because Sonic is just amazing. So yes, so yes, shout out to that. And also, 
Shout out to February. This is my birthday month. February and February 2020. Just said birthday to me. Oh, yes, my birthday was last week on February 4th, 2020. Just said birthday to me. I turned 22 years of age, 23 years of age. So that's also perfect, and I'm perfect, and that's amazing. Sounded pretty fresh. And also, shout out to my girl Kefla being added on to Dragon Ball Fighter Z and being announced that she's going to be added on Dragon Ball Fighter Z during my birthday month, of course, too. Of February 2020, and she was announced that she's going to be added on the, the video game Dragon Ball Fighter Z on February 28th, 2020. So that's pretty amazing. It's 14 14 days away. 14 plus 14 is 28, and it's Valentine's Day. So you know, I'm gonna grow careful. And 14 days today, 14 days down during the month, 14 days to go, and. We're halfway there to get let's get it, let's go. <laughs> so it feels pretty amazing. And like I said, shout out to that. And shout out to her. And I'm excited for it. Go Ten is my favorite character in the Dragon Ball universe, Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball Super. And of course he has Go Tanks and the Fusion Dance and Fusion Fusion Dance and Kefla with the fusion earrings. So it's going to be so fun fighting with her also and fighting with both of them. And yes, this is going to be perfect. Fighting with both, of, both of them alongside each other. And I'm going to love it just like Valentine's Day. <laughs> just like Valentine's Day. All right. <clears throat> so yeah, shout out to that too. <laughs> and also, shout out to All-Star Weekend this weekend. On today, February 14, 2020. Tomorrow, February 15, 2020. And Sunday for February 16, 2020. Tonight's the All Star Celebrity Game, and then tomorrow's the Dunk Contest, Three Point Contest, and the Skills Challenge, and then Sunday is the All Star Game. So it's going to be amazing, excited, pretty fresh, all the festivities. And yeah, shout out to that. And yeah. By the way, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Alright. And, <clears throat> and with all that being said, I just want to say, not all that. And CBC Naruto over and out.